Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we're in Germany, in Heidelberg, with Bill McDermott, CEO of SAP. Welcome, Bill. Gerhard, great to be with you. Thank you. You started as a salesman at Xerox, and then you made an important transition to become a manager. Yeah. Tell us about that. First part of the transition as a sales professional, if you want to become a manager, is to think like a manager before you become one. So always help your colleagues out and think about the discretionary effort you give them. So if you're a really good closer, teach your colleagues how to close. If you're a really good planner, teach them how to plan. Because guess what? They will notice and soon they'll understand they'll be working for you. Now for the sales management job. The first thing you have to do is set a bold and audacious goal about what you will achieve as a team. The second thing is you've got to understand each of your key people and what their personal, not just their business, but their personal interests are to align their goals with the team goals. And then the third thing that you have to do is hire people that are much better than you. The best leaders hire people that are better than them at things they're not so good at. In my case, I took 16 people and I had four mini team leaders. So I had four people that were stronger than all the rest. And then I had other people report into them. And I monitored my people through the four mini team leaders. And I was developing the future leadership team. By doing this, it creates a culture of creative collaboration where everyone's working towards that common goal. So how do you deal with the poor performance? What is your strategy? Well, first is you got to lift people up. Managers too easily can get down on people and they can look at all the negatives about the person. There is something really magic about that person. The question is, do you know what it is? And why is the person not performing well? And when was the last time you had an honest, open conversation and you asked them, how are things going? What can I do to help you? I, dru I truly believe we have to focus on the goodness in people and inspire people to do great things before we give up on them. That is really important. Now, having said that, if you've done all the right things and the person is still not performing, you have to hold them accountable and put them on a corrective action plan where you point by point tell them, these are the things I expect. If these things are not done satisfactorily, this will be consequential. Simple. So what was your transition from being a player to a manager when it comes to coaching? Well, you have to be a player coach. I never went into the sales management job thinking that I was the manager. I instead followed a simple philosophy. The people speak and I obey. So in many ways, I wanted to understand what the people needed to be successful. And as a leader, I think the best leaders find that equation out. Because if you can figure that out, you can achieve your audacious goals. And ours were always big. We always had to be the number one team. If we weren't the number one team, we felt like we failed. You cannot be the number one team unless each person on the team succeeds. That was the key to it. So can you share with our audience, um, what is the mindset of a sales manager who turns dreams into reality? The mindset is nothing but the best. So you have to start out with, we will be the best. Nobody will outperform us. So the vision for excellence is crystal clear. You also have to have the mindset that the customer has to win. What is it about what we do for the customer that's distinctly different from what our competitors do? And how do we create the perfect solution and the perfect offering for the customer so they simply can't say no to it? And then how do we make sure each and every person on the team understands exactly what to do? So they have to be scripted. They have to understand specifically what the talk track is. They have to understand the products and the solutions that you're offering. And they have to be able to think on their feet because they're so rehearsed and so prepared. When they get to that moment of truth, they know just how to score and how to get the deal done. Ultimately, always with the idea that the customer has to be the ultimate winner. And if you have that in you and you're willing to give it all up for the customer, they know. They know the difference. Thank you so much. Gerhard. Thank you.